trade breakdown of a trade that I called out to some people today. Um, it's PCG. So looking at this long term here, we can see since about February, you know, with coronavirus, PCG had been tanking. Um, but they're now, you know, oil demand is kind of picking up uh, more than it was. And we see they're having a little run up as of lately. Now, the reason I took this trade um, today is because you see here, there's a run up. Now, as you can see, my green dotted line is a resistance. You can see this resistance goes all the way back to um, August of last year. So when this cross above the resistance, you know, this first time um, it created a bull flag. A bull flag is a, um, a bullish continuation pattern. So what you want to do is you want to wait until you don't want to get in until it pushes above the bull flag. Um, so switching to my four hour chart, you can see it better. You see this run up right here. PCG ran up and they was in this bull flag pattern for, for quite some time, about two weeks, two and a half weeks, somewhere around there. And they finally broke out. So today I was already thinking, I already had my alert set for 11.24. That if it breaks above, I want to get a call. So today when I looked at PCG, um, I'm going to take you guys to the five minute. We can see that PCG had made a um a triangle here. So with a triangle, all you want to do is you just want to wait until it breaks. You don't want to pick a side before it breaks because you're pretty much just gambling at that point. Um, so you already have already had a lot of conviction that it would break up to the upside because you can see here, you know, once again, when you see a run up, there has to be some type of pullback pattern. And the pullback pattern was the triangle. So I was just waiting for it to break above the triangle with um, you know, with decent volume. So we take a look at the volume here. You see there's a huge spike right here. Um, and what you will notice is as the pattern is squeezing, squeezing just means that the price action is slowing down. Uh, the price movements are getting smaller you see that the volume drops off. Then when it breaks above, you see the volume picks up. So after seeing the volume really pick up, um, I got in, you know, got in here, and we we rolled it out the rest of the day. Now my area of profit that, my um, take profit that I'm aiming for um, is actually, I really want to try to get it around 13. Um, 13 would be great because it's right here at the top of the pattern. See, the top of the pattern is at about 1268. But, you know, taking a look at the R side, the R side is at 57 on the, out, on the day chart. The stochastics are both, that they've already crossed and pointed upwards. You can see we have good volume here. Um, take a look at the four hour. And you see a little bit of the same stuff. Stochastics are looking good. R side, right at 72. Um, but PCG, we see in the past, they've had some instances where they have been overbought and kept running. So I'm not really worried about that. So my area of take profit with this trade will be about 13. Um, I'm aiming to get about 13 bucks. You see, um, 13 bucks was right at the top of this pattern. So um, 13 will be my area of take profit. And and yeah, that was it for PCG. So um, if you guys like me doing these type of videos, just let me know, uh, break down some trades or I might start doing watch lists or something like that. Um, but just leave a comment and subscribe if you guys like it. Thank you. If you would like to see more content like this, make sure you like, leave a comment and subscribe.